Welcome back YouTube. Today we're going to look at my Lemon Blast 100% Head Clown male. Got him about a year and a half ago at an expo here in Manassas, Virginia. Picked him up from a company called Outback Reptiles. Uh, I've been looking on their website a couple weeks prior to this event and I seen him on there as a hatchling for $175. I thought, well, you know, it's, he's a pretty cool looking snake, and I do want to get into the clown stuff. Starting out with 100% head clown male is not exactly an ideal way to do it. But, kind of gave him to my impulses and got him. I'm really glad I did, though. He's one of my best snakes. He's the chillest snake you could ever imagine to be. A lot of people that are nervous around snakes or anything like that, this is the one I let him handle. I mean, he's never struck. He's always comfortable being held. All he ever wants to do is explore. I mean, very chill snake. Surprisingly, a very good eater, too. Though. But I've got some pretty good plans for this guy. I mean, I do have one head clown female of size to breed him to. She's just a normal. But I plan on buying two head clown, two more head clown females from Mystery Exotics. The guy I was telling you about that I bought other snakes from. To add to my clown project, then I'm gonna go ahead and start buying some higher end head clowns. That way, I could actually get some variety into them versus just as the lemon blast and the pinstripe. But I'll be happy just to get that. I mean, really. But he's last time he was weighed was July 13th, and he was 732 grams. So I mean, he he's never bred before. He's a virgin. This will be his first season. Hopefully it goes well. If not, I've got a backup breeder. But so far for this year, he's only got one head clown female. We've got a couple other snakes he's going to go ahead and breed to. Just to go ahead and so we can have a couple extra clutches. Even though I haven't produced any yet, I'm hoping to be very successful. Done a lot of research. Would love to hear a lot of tips. But that is my 100% head clown lemon blast male. Oh, one more other thing. He's the only one of my snakes that has a name. His name is George. My mom actually named him. I mean, she's scared to death of snakes, but he was so tiny when I got him, she was willing to hold him, and she named him George. So, all my other snakes are all unnamed. I want you YouTube YouTubers to go through and pick out the names of these next snakes. First five comments of names is what I'll choose from and I'll go ahead and post who posted it and that'll be their name. I mean it'll get put on their legit card to go with their serial number and all their heat eating habits. But the banana mail he needs a name. George is trying to climb up my neck. 100% head. Oh no, this is the calico. Hidden. The calico needs a name. Our head pied female needs a name. Head pied female one number one. Because that's what their name is. Head pied female number two. She needs a name. The pastel pied. He needs a name. You know he's all up hitting underneath the bed, uh, bedding. You can see him in the pied madness video. Yeah, little old George here is the only one that's got a name. But, post your comments below. Somebody post up some names and we'll get them chosen. Appreciate it. Later, YouTube.